an awesome God. For the Lord our God is great and he is greatly to be praised. I need y'all to turn your worship up tonight. Come on online, you ready? Listen, God is a good, good father and I have a testimony that he's been good. Does anybody have that testimony? Come on, put those hands together. Father, we come to lift your name. We exalt you, you've been better than good, amen. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise is truly in my mouth. No matter what I see or how I feel, hey, as long as I'm breathing, oh yes, I'm breathing, I'll bless the Lord. As long as I'm breathing, oh yes, I'm breathing, I'll bless the Lord. Yeah. Did anybody come to bless the name of Jesus? Now I want you to sing it right here. Say, I will bless the Lord at all. Come on, say, in his praise shall yeah. say. No matter what I see or how I feel, hallelujah, as long as I'm breathing. Oh, yeah. As long as I'm Let us exalt his name. Together, let's lay down our crown and lift up his name. All over the world tonight, come on, shout it out, say. So let's do it together. Everybody clap your hands right here. Hey, the Bible says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Come on, sing it out, say. And I will bless the Lord at all. And his praises No matter what I see or how I feel As long as I breathe As long as I breathe As long as I breathe Oh yeah Come on online Oh magnify the Lord And let us exalt his name together Let's lay down Let's our crowns and, and lift up his name. So shout, oh let's do it together. Say, let's do it together. Everybody clap your hands right here. Say, let's do it together. Can anybody come to bless his name? Hey, let's do it together. Hey, God's been real, real good. Say, let's do it together. So if you got a testimony, I need you to help me. Right here, come on, repeat after me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all He has done for me, oh, come on, shout it out. You've been better than good to me. You've been so, so good. Keep it. 
Anybody ready to see a victory tonight? I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Sing it out, church. I'm gonna see a I'm gonna see a I'm gonna see a There's power in the There's power in the mighty name of Jesus Every war he He wages he will win So don't back down faith church you say I'm not backing down from any giant Cause I know how I know in this room do you believe that in this room does anybody believe that am I by myself hey listen 
It's worship night, so you already know what's going to happen in this room. If you don't know, now you know. So are you ready? So far, so good. So can we do this? Can we have 15 seconds of just perfect unity? If you're willing, if you're able, if you're comfortable, can you just shoot both hands to heaven right here in this room? Come on. And we're just going to love on Jesus for 15 seconds. Every mouth open. Come on, let's do it. Jesus, we love you. All of this right here is for you tonight. We are here simply for you. Because you've been so good to us, we give it right back to you. We love you, Jesus. Faith Church loves you, Jesus. Come and be king of this service and king of our hearts tonight. We're so thankful. Now, come on, if you love him, let this room erupt for 10 seconds. You got it. He's good, amen. He's already good. We're only about 10 minutes, 15 minutes in, and he's already been good. Listen. Before you sit down, I want you to find about 5 to 13 people and tell them, say, you are in the right place tonight. Come on, tell them. Tell them. That's six. Come on, you got 10 more. Tell them. We believe it. We're going to see a victory here at Faith Church Worship Night. Hey, listen. My name is Brandon. I am the worship pastor, creative pastor here yeah. at Faith. I don't have anyone anymore. And we are so glad every one of you are in this room tonight. We're so thankful that I already feel, we already feel the presence of the Lord. Am I alone? Anybody feel the Lord already? So we're off to a good start already. Listen, so to, to have something like this or to have service to host Jesus like this every week or a night like this, you have to have both Mary's and Martha's to be able to sit at Jesus' feet. There are Martha's that run around and they have to do things and run cables and push faders and push computers. And there are people all over this campus was here late last night that are here kind of early, way before everybody gets here, that's getting the place ready, that's getting uh, audio just right, that's getting video and cameras just right. There are kids right now wiping yo baby's nose back here that are making a place where we can host Jesus and we can have a good service. So can we honor all those people right now in this room? Yeah, there you go. You deserve it. We love you. Thank you for volunteering your time. So we can feel Jesus in this moment. I'm already loud. I just started talking. I'm already loud, Pastor Phil. So right now, we're, we're getting ready to uh, receive the offering tonight. And I get the luxury uh, to go around from campus to campus kind of every Sunday and just, just see kind of what's going on and, and be there and be a part of worship and creative and things like that. And every Sunday, right after worship, we have uh, we call our prayer time and our, we have a salvation moment. And every service, every service at every campus, when that campus pastor begins to invite people to receive the Jesus, receive Jesus every service I see a hand go up every campus every service I don't think you felt the weight of that so that is why we get up early that is why we do what we do that is why we are wiping some of the kids nose back here right now there's people because every service at Faith Church, somebody's saying, yes, I want to have a relationship with Jesus. I don't want to be the same anymore. And that is the reason that we give. That is the reason that we are a generous church. So right now, as the ushers make their way forward, can we just pray uh, for this moment, this very moment? Uh, pray that God continues to bless what he uh, obviously has his hand on tonight in this church. So we're thankful. Come on, can we pray together? Father, we are so glad that you have met us here tonight. Lord, you know exactly where we are. You know exactly what headspace we came in with tonight in this room. And Father, we thank you for the blessings that we have received. And we have, we have freely received your blessings. And tonight we give generously to you. We're so thankful for every changed life that has come through every campus, every door at Faith Church. We're so thankful. And we, we remember your blood and your sacrifice tonight. So we give generously because you gave so generously to us. 
and we will praise you and give you glory forever and everybody said amen ushers you may serve the people listen right here uh we have the one and only pastor phil in the house pastor phil can you come join me right here love this guy so special event just kind of tied to uh people receiving jesus happening this sunday every campus what's going on this sunday at every single campus if you're ready to take the next step we have it for you because the baptisms are happening at every single campus every campus after every service so if you're like uh, i would get baptized but i'm going to 945 we got one for you Okay. If you're like, ah, we'll get baptized, but I'll be at Earth City. We got one for you too. It's every single service, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to sign up today. I don't want you to wait. I don't want you to do it. You got it right there on the slide. They'll show you and tell you kind of how to do it. But also you can go out to the info desk and you can sign up to get baptized. Take that next step. You're identifying with his death, his burial, and his resurrection, right? You're, you're leaving the old life, you're stepping into the new life. So if you haven't been baptized yet, I want you to sign up, get baptized. Let them know like, hey, this is mine. We're gonna give you a t-shirt, you're gonna look super cool. Now look, you can't go to the source, here's the deal. Can't go to the source and buy this shirt. You gotta get baptized in order to get the shirt. All right, so I want you to make sure you sign up. If this is the next step for you, this is the next step for what you have to do, get baptized this weekend. They can help you. It's gonna be, seriously, it's gonna be a great weekend. So invite your friends and family because it's a great time because we have spontaneous baptisms that happen all the time. Every time we do this, we'll have 20, 25 people that'll just automatically start coming forward because they see other people getting baptized. They wanna get baptized. And how many guys know that's what it's all about? It's a life change, right? So that's this weekend at every single service this weekend. So, Pastor Phil, um, Every single service. Every service. Every service. Baptism. Every campus. Every campus. Every campus. And uh, life change uh, happens at Faith Church. Is that true? True statement. Every single service life change happens. And you're telling me, I think there's already about 100 people already signed up. That's already. Yeah, there's already 100 people that are signed up ready to get baptized. So don't miss out. This is your weekend that you want to do. Give it up for Pastor Phil right now. We love him. Also, Pastor David has started a brand new series this past Sunday about the mind dealing with anxiety. Have you, did you guys enjoy that? You love that? So good. Hey, bring somebody this weekend because listen, I'm telling you right now, this is, this is a topic that seems just worldwide, globally right now that everybody's kind of dealing with. So uh, we believe, we believe that the answer is in Jesus and they can find that answer right here in this building and all the buildings across St. Louis and in Florida. Do you believe that? So we're going to lean back into worship right here. Can we, can we pray for the rest of this night? And People may be dealing with fear and anxiety. We believe that victory is going to be won in this room tonight. We believe that. Yeah. So come on, we're going to pray. We're going to get back into worship. And I want you guys to lean in. Sing louder than you've ever sang before. Can you do that for me tonight? Love on Jesus like you've never talked to him and loved on him before. Come on, let's pray. God, we thank you for every heart we thank you for the healing that is taking place right now in this room thank you for what you are about to do here tonight thank you for what you're going to do Sunday thank you for our pastors and our leaders and Lord Jesus we will follow hard after you we are listening we're leaning into your spirit tonight and we love you in Jesus name amen
us clean it made us whole the blood still works i said the blood still works you should have celebrated right there the blood still works the blood still works the blood still works hallelujah come on if you had a testimony that the blood saved you that the blood healed you that the blood restored you that the blood washed you white as snow it washed my sins away what can wash away my sins Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. He's a miracle worker. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And sometimes you can hear those stories in the Bible and say, that's too good not to believe. But I come to tell you today that God is truly a miracle worker. Come on, raise up a worship in this moment. Come on, pour it out, pour it out. Pour it out, pour it out. Live stories that have proved your faithfulness. I've seen miracles my mind can't comprehend. Come on, lift it up. There is beauty in what I can't understand. Jesus, it's you. Jesus, it's you. Come on, we say. The wonder working God, the wonder working God, all the miracles I 
good. Too good to not believe. Now listen, I know we came tonight with a spirit of expectancy. And I know there's some people that we've been praying for. So in this next moment, I want to let you know something. God is still moving by his spirit, but it's going to take your faith to break the chain. It's going to take your faith to receive that healing. So in this next moment, I want you to just raise up a worship, begin to give him praise. And I feel like as we set this atmosphere, God is literally about to meet us at our situation. I declare that bodies will be healed. I declare that the dead is coming back to life, despite what the doctors say. I believe in the power that is in the blood of Jesus, that no sickness, no depression, no disease, nothing can stop me. He's still moving, yes he is. Come on, he's moving, he's moving. So let's sing this out right here. Repeat after me. He's still moving. He's still proving. Come on, say. Just how great he is, how great. He's still moving. He's still proving. Just how great. He's a miracle worker. Shout it out.
we're singing about how great our God is, I want you to know it's to remind our souls, to remind our spirits that our God is able, that he can do the impossible. So whatever it is you came in with here tonight, whether you're watching online or you're in the room, I want you to know that as we lift this up and we begin to remind our souls, remind our spirits how good and how faithful and how able our God is, I believe that through our faith in the Lord, that breakthrough will begin to happen. Miracles will begin to happen. Whatever it is you need, if you came here for breakthrough tonight, would you lift your hands? Would you lift your hands? Is there anybody desperate? Is there anybody that's willing to have some faith in this place here online? Those of you who 
never been here before and we're about to go to the next song this is faith church so we walk by faith we believe by faith and i want to let you know something i just feel like god is about to do something right now some of us have been waiting for weeks and weeks and if pastor david was here he would say it like this it's going to be a quick work oh you want to get excited he said it's going to be a quick work hey and it's gonna be a gonna be a it's gonna be a he's gonna do it gonna be a gonna be a quick work quick work for your life for your money for your family right now right now he's gonna do it he's gonna do it Says the Lord, that's what God is doing in this season. I want you to sing it out. Say, I'm doing eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. I'm doing what God's gonna do. What God's gonna do. I'm doing a new thing. Yeah, yeah. Come on, one more time. Just say, said I'm doing a new thing. Somebody give them praise right there if you believe that. Yeah. I'll stay right there, stay right there. Do you feel the presence of the Lord in this room? Do you believe it? Hey, y'all hang tight. So uh, I, just, I just can only tell you like I've seen it. So uh, if you don't know, I'm not from here. I'm from the South. If you can't tell by my mouth the way it works right here. So my dad pastored a church as I was growing up and a uh, little church and a midweek service just like this and uh, we, we, would, we would get free, we'd lift our hands, we'd sing, we were loud and we were that church that was excited. We were full of faith and we were excited just like Faith Church right here, how about that? So we had this one particular family, a husband and wife on the front row and they would be there every week and, and when, I, when I worship I, I do this kind of now but uh, they would come in and they'd be on the front row and when that lady started doing this right here I knew the service was good when her hands went up I knew hey I'm doing a good job we're doing it right so so one particular night service was like this it was good it was good and uh, she had her hand going like this her praise hand and, uh, she, uh, we, we, we shifted uh, time in the service and uh, we had testimony and she popped up and she said help me help me help me some, something's happening to my, to my head. I've got a headache. Something's happening. And immediately she fell face forward onto our carpet. And she was about 10 feet from me. And everything that was in her body came out onto our carpet. And uh, stuff started coming out of her nose like I've never seen before. And so what, what does a church that's full of faith in that moment, what does a church that's full of faith, what do they do in that moment? What do they do? Pray. Pray. No, we called 911. So we should have prayed, but we didn't. It's okay. So the paramedics came. They came in, and just as we suspected, there was no heartbeat. Zero, none, none. And so uh, they put her on the ambulance. They take her to the hospital. I go with my dad. I'm young in ministry. I'm about 18 years old at this point in time. And, and so uh, they, get, they get her to the hospital. And on the way to the hospital, they find a faint heartbeat. It's faint. And so we're in, we're in ICU, I'm with my dad and this lady's husband, and the neurologist comes in, and the neurologist looks at the husband and said, listen, it's 10 o'clock at night, I need you to go home, get some rest, because tomorrow you will prepare the funeral for your wife, you'll need to do that. And uh, he said, you know what, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna stay tonight. And the neurologist looked at him again and said, listen, go home, because even if she does live until tomorrow, she will be a vegetable and then die about a month later. So just go home and begin to get your affairs in order and plan her funeral for tomorrow. And so about that time, I'll never forget looking over at her body and her right hand did this right here. Just did just like that. And so the husband looked over and he said, that's her praise hand. Everything's going to be okay. That's her praise hand. That's her praise hand. 
And the doctor, who's smarter than myself and my dad, looked at him and said, No, sir, that is in an involuntary muscle movement. That's going to happen. She will die. Go home. And so he said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to continue playing this worship music in this room, Rodney, and I will stay till the morning. And when he said that, her hand moved again, just like this. And he said, that is her praise hand. And so six months later, in that same little church, on the same front row, that woman in her right mind put her praise hand right back up in the air. So let me tell you what she testified that very night. Listen, 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 listen. She said, she said, when, when that happened, I just, all I saw was black. And I heard a voice saying, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And the only thing she knew, she thought this, if I can just get my hand up, I will be okay. So we're going to sing that. Can you sing Waymaker? We're going to sing it again. Now listen, I don't know where you are. You might be riddled with depression. You might have a loved one in the hospital tonight. But I have seen it. I am way too old. I've seen way too much for you to tell me that he can't do it. I'm telling you tonight. He is a way maker. He is a miracle worker. And you can't tell me he can't do it. I have seen it. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. So my mother-in-law, five years ago, this is the last story, I promise. We're going to sing, we'll go home. Just give me just a second. So my mother-in-law, five years ago, they sent her home to my house. My wife is on the front row. She's watching this tonight. She sent her home to my, they sent her home to my house to die. They, she was diagnosed with stage four head and neck cancer. And she said, go home. So every morning I woke up, I did not want my wife to find her dead in my house. So I would wake up and I would go to her room and make sure her stomach was going up and down like that to make sure there was life there. So that went on and we were just hopeless, just waiting for that morning that I come in here and find her and tell my wife, hey, this is it. And a, and a little pastor came by, he'd heard about it. He knew that we were, had little faith and in that moment we were, we were struggling to believe. A little pastor came by and took communion with my mother-in-law. And she said in that moment, she said, I, I felt something, I felt something. Just body riddled with cancer, it was over. She said, I felt something that little pastor took communion with me and prayed for me and I promise you I promise you just about two weeks ago she was sitting right back there in this service she has not had a drop of cancer in her body for five years she's 75 years old been in this room she is alive I have seen cancer removed I have seen it it was on the scan it was gone from the scan he can do it tonight he can heal anything tonight he's a way maker He's a miracle worker. Come on, say Who you are, Lord. Oh, yeah. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise me. Come on, say Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Get your praise oh, hand up and say, hey. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise me. like this we say even when I don't see it even when I don't feel it you work it you never stop you never stop working do you believe it over here even when I don't see it you work even when I don't feel it you work it you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when I don't see it, you work it. Even when I don't feel it, you work it. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you work. Even when I don't feel it, you work it. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. Come on, let's pray tonight. Listen, if you're struggling with anything. If you're struggling with anger, if you're
you're struggling with fear, if you're struggling with sickness tonight, the way maker is in this room. And nobody in this room can tell me that he has done his last miracle because he has not. We will testify of this night, I promise you. So if you've got sickness, if you've got a loved one in the hospital, we have a loved one in the hospital tonight. If you have somebody in the hospital that is sick, I want you to put your praise hand up right now. If you are sick, if you're struggling with fear, the Waymaker is here tonight. He is close. I feel him closer than my skin in this room. That praise hand up. Come on, let's pray. I want you to begin to, to plead the blood over your life. We sang about the blood tonight. We believe there's still power and healing in the blood. Nothing more holy than the blood. Lord, we thank you for every person that is here tonight. For every person that is dealing with fear and sickness and just riddled with depression and hurt. Father, you can free them tonight. They don't ever have to go through it anymore. You're so good. You're so good. We believe we've seen you do it in the past. You will do it even tonight. For those that we have that are in the hospital, we believe that you will heal their body. And you will raise them up. We believe it. We believe it. We believe it. Nothing is impossible with you. Nothing is impossible to you. Online, if you are watching and you're, you're sick or you may be in the hospital watching right now, I believe the Waymaker is in that room tonight where you are. You might be watching this in a room by yourself and you feel something. That is the presence of the Lord that's entered. Let Him move on you tonight. Lean in. Just let go. Father, we are so thankful. We love you tonight. Oh, I feel your spirit in this room. So thankful. You are here tonight. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Listen, listen. You may be in this room and you may feel something. You say, I, I like it. And you say, I, I, I feel so far away from God. Hey, tonight we're going to change that right now. Can we do that? You may say, you may say, I have messed up so many times. I just need a fresh start. Tonight is your night. Right here, tonight is your night. So listen, you say, I want to feel, I want to know that miracle worker. I want to know him for my Lord and Savior. If that's you, I want you to put your hand up in this room right now. You say, I just need a fresh start, Brandon. I just need a fresh start in my life tonight, a do-over with God. We, we've been kind of going back and forth, but now I want to make a commitment forever right here. There's hands all over this room. There's hands all over this room. Come on. Church, this is the biggest moment of this night right here. So what I want you to do, your hands raised, I want everybody in this room to repeat this prayer after me. Father God, thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you for his blood. Say this, say, I accept Jesus in my heart as my Lord and Savior. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. I will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. We need to celebrate. Let this room erupt for that right there. Hey, listen. Just let me let you know. You can get baptized Sunday at any campus right now. If you made that decision, that's happening Sunday. People, life change in the presence and the power of God. So we got one more song. We're going to celebrate that. This is a celebration song. So here, here's your last chance. Give us four more minutes. And on this last song, I want you just to lose your mind. Because first of all, we're going to heaven. The blood has covered our lives. We don't have to be sick no more. And there's some people that absolutely had complete life change in this room. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Come on, even if you're watching online, I want you to get up off of that couch. I want you to get with us. We're about to celebrate new life in Jesus Christ. Come on, put those hands on it. I was buried beneath my shame. Come on. You could carry that kind of weight. Oh, come on. I know y'all know this one. It was my tomb, hey, till I met you. Come on, clap them hands. Sing it out. I was breathing, but I, hey, but I. Come on, I want you to testify tonight. Say, all my failures I tried to hide. It was my tomb. It was my tomb. Oh, come on, say. Till I met you, this is my favorite part. Here we go. You call my name, Chuck, and I ran out of that breath. Say, out of the darkness. You say, to your darkness. Somebody celebrating here. You call my name.
all your freedom say all your freedom that I know the only new year oh That's there, those three tables, and tell them you want to sign up to get baptized. The other thing I'm going to tell you is, if you said that prayer for the first time tonight, here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to walk out of this room and be like, oh, that was great. I want you to grab one of those gold connect cards that's in that seat back, right? Grab one of those cards. Tell somebody that you got saved today, all right? So here's the deal. The Bible says you're made overcomers by what? The blood of the lamb, which is Jesus dying, and the word of your testimony, you gotta tell somebody about it. So I want you to grab that gold connect card, walk, sign it, fill it out real quick, and tell them, hey, I got saved. You can drop in the offering container right on your way out the door. Just drop it right in there, but tell somebody that you got saved today, amen? How many of you guys had a great time tonight? How many of you feel like, hey, I am not the same as I was when I walked in. That's super sweet. So what does that mean? Be nice to people in the parking lot. Don't tell me Jesus didn't change your life if you don't have some actions following it. Okay? So be nice in the parking lot. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to get ready to pray us out. Come back this weekend. I'm telling you, if you are suffering with anything, Depression, anxiety. Pastor David has a word for you this weekend. You're not going to want to miss that. And here's the other thing. How many guys right now, show of hands, here, even if you're joining us on our online campus, you say, I'm going to bring somebody with me this weekend to church. Don't lie in Jesus' house. He sees it all. Let me see those hands. You're saying, I'm going to bring somebody with me to church. All right? And don't try to tell me it's the Holy Ghost, an actual physical person, all right? Shut your hands to the front, you online as well. 
and let me pray for you as you go. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May he give you rest and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you this weekend.